folks in this video i'm going to talk about a fun application wherein you will have red blue and green slider over here and based on this slider there would be change in color here so let me show you how it works so the red here means all the red from here is transferred over here you know it's like a fun magic thing but it's not really a magic it's how OpenCV reacts to images so red 255 means that all the red component are subtracted from the original image so is the blue you can put a slider like this as well as red so based on this slider you can see it's all white all 255 is white I make it green 0 and blue 0 that means it's red and then if I just make it green 255 but red 0 it's green so you can see that based on the slider the colors on the on this output image is changed now I'm going to show you how to implement a code like this so in the code you would have three sliders the first one would be a red slider blue slider and green slider and this is known as a track bar a track bar tracker bar sorry track bar and then this is an is a text which is press r to reset so if i press r you see the image is reset and everything is reset so if i do like this press r the image is reset you have to press r to reset the image next uh, this is an image which is a python image is red and you would extract blue green and red component from this image i'll show you how to do that so you're going to extract the blue green red component from this image and then you're going to find out what is the slider value of blue green and red so two different things i start you need to create a track bar for three red blue and green then you need to create this text set r for reset and then you would need to load the image get the blue green and red component from the image and based on the slider value you have to do a math and the math is simple it's a subtraction so this is a magic application wherein if i slide the red color it means all the red color from here is going to be transferred over here if i say blue as well and green as well so there you go so this is a magic thing which you know this application shows the code for this application is available on the google drive link which is mentioned in the video description section now let me walk you through the code step by step of doing an application like this so so regular import cv uh, numpy let me just make it a bit bigger here and then uh, we'll we'll have a blank callable just pass you know this is required for a function i'll let you know later and then create a black image so the np0 thing so np.0 is 300 512 cv2 named window we are just going to have a named window and then let's create tracker bars for red green and blue red so it says cv2 dot create tracker bar track bar i should say tracker track bar red image 0255 blank callable and for green next i'm going to initiate three variables r g and b so please note that the r g b is for this section which is the blank the callable in which you had the tracker bar earlier next we will read the second image which is going to be your python image so image dot cv2 dot read my python and then i'm going to do a split the cv2 dot split image is going to extract in a matrix format the blue green and red component for every pixel of the python cell so this my python dot png file is going to be red and the blue green and ray component of those images 
are going to red because I have done a split. You would see further on that I am going to do a merge which is merging the blue, green and red component. So this is the all setup. I am just having an original for a reset. So if I do reset, I would turn it back to original. This is just my play of resetting it back and then you have named window output. So two images, one is the left hand side the track bar image and here you have the python image being read. Next while true I am initiating a, a loop. cv 2im show my image. So I am going to show the my image which is this one and again the output. So I am going to show both of these screens separately. Now let's set the color to the image. So I am going to say BGR. So B2, G2, R2. So please note that initially BGR would be 0 because here I have initialized BGR as 0. And B2 minus B that means whatever the component of the image to split you are deriving minus BGR the tracker bar. So whatever the component is derived from B2 which is the split image I am minusing the track bar image. Whatever the slider you slide those many red green or blue component is going to be subtracted. Alright so you see here after the subtraction I am getting get B2, G2, G, R2 and I am going to do a merge. So understand this. I got the split of B2, G2, R2 from the original image of the python and then based on the track bar right now it's zero I am going to do that piece as well. So based on the track bar I am going to subtract whatever is the slider. So if R slides to 255 that means the R2 component will become 0. G slides to 255 which is the track bar G the final image component of green becomes 0. Now let's put the text for reset. So I say cv2 dot put text image plus press R to reset. So I am going to write the function later. This is the weight key. Let's get the tracker bar positions. So this is to get the position, new position. So whenever you remove or move the tracker around, this is going to get the new position here. And finally, you're going to do the reset. So reset my image for red, green and blue. And this is for the reset of the image itself. So please note that while equal to while true, I'm using B2, G2, R2. And I am setting the B2, G2, R2 here as the original component split of the images. So in order to recreate the image. So please understand I am recreating the color of the image after the reset. Or for quit. So this is for quit and you destroy all the windows. So this is the code for this application. Please feel free to reuse the code. Uh, so this is R2B2G2 which is derived over here and this is RGB which is derived by the tracker bar positions. So 255 or rev red means all the red from this image is coming over here. That means B2 minus B. This is B2 and this is B. I hope uh, this will become clear as in when you go in detail and that's how I showed you that CV2 can do a lot of image processing. Thank you for watching.